Party people, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Let's Play. And why are we awkwardly standing in front of the wheat, you may ask? Because we're going to build a, a wheat farm. Um, we need a tower over here um, for the wheat. And I, I need a lot, a lot, a lot of books. So I'm going to need a lot, a lot of leather. So that means I need to be able to have a lot of wheat to pump into my cow farm. So... To be able to fill this room in with all the books that I want to put in here, I need a much more reliable source of wheat. Um, so, let's take a look at this thing and kind of look at where we're going to put this. So I have it in the drawings to put it over here and I still think that's going to work pretty well. So let's kind of look over here. Yeah, there's a decent amount of space right here. So we're going to come right here in this gap and we're going to build up a tower of wheat farm that's going to be you know the water is going to automatically push it all off and we'll um we'll have to still manually place the seeds but you know it'll make it a lot faster a lot easier and it'll be you know uniform platforms and everything will be straight and i'll get more than the current two and a half stacks i get out of my current wheat farm because you can't really get a cow farm pumping if your wheat takes just as long as your cows to grow you can feed cows every five minutes um, and it takes 20 minutes for your wheat to grow. So I want to be able to feed these cows every five minutes and really get the uh, leather pumping out of that thing. So uh, so that's what I'm going to work on. Um, I will probably come back to you guys once I have the first layer of this thing built. And then I'm going to build up multiple layers. And I want it to be a fairly tall tower. I don't know how tall the actual wheat farm will be. But the tower will be pretty tall. Because I think that will be a nice addition to the overall look that we have going so far just a nice tall tower popping straight up right there i think that'll look pretty nice so let me go ahead and get building on this um and i will be back to you in a little bit once i've made some progress see you guys in a few minutes hey guys we are back and i had an actual good idea few and far between for me but i was sitting there making the wheat farm and realized i need a lot of books and where can i get a lot of books in a stronghold so i am here i'm raiding the library and i'm about to take all of these books for my own personal gains um i don't really care so much for leaving these intact um the you know i'm never going to build anything down here this doesn't really matter um if i do build something it'll be just very close to the portal and you know this isn't anywhere close to the portal i was in this uh, fortress for 20 minutes before I found this library so it, it it definitely is tucked away um in here I had already visited um this and looted it but I did not take all the bookshelves so I'm taking all the bookshelves because that's going to save me a lot of time a lot of leather um oh my inventory's full I don't need this fish and yeah, well, I'll get a bunch of books and we'll be able to get this library going a little bit faster than I expected us to be able to. So I uh, expect to see that rolling here pretty soon. We'll get a little bit of decoration and, you know, the ground works for that room going in there. Um, but I'm going to keep taking all these books and, uh, and we'll go from there. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So I might have got a little bit ahead of myself, but it's all good. Um, so I've moved my stuff here into the bedroom for first thing because you know that that's what you need to do but i've also uh kind of wanted to get a start on this so i could show you guys what my thoughts were for this room um so i've only done the entrance here but i did the floor with the dark oak like we talked about and then i kind of did the entrance a little bit i'll probably do a little bit more with the entrance the ceiling definitely is going to have to be done but this you know a little decoration here um i do want to bring the gold into the build palette um i like the end rods a lot for the lighting um, oops, I didn't think they were that fragile. So we've got the end rods in there and, uh, we've got, you know, there's always the little ladders so you can get to the higher books. We've got one of those there. And then basically what we're going to use this room for is to store all of the books that we get from enchanting and, uh, all that stuff and eventually villager trading. And we'll put our enchanting table in here too. But I think this is a good, nice start. Something that looks, you know, kind of castle-y and rustic and... You know, but still like grand and epic, and I, you know, I, I'm I'm really starting to like how it's coming together. So I think we'll probably line most of the outside walls with books, and then we'll have chests in the middle, probably with books around them. 
Um, and then probably towards the back here, we'll do an enchanting setup. Um, if we decide to, we may expand this room a little bit further back out. But I'm not quite sure exactly if we're going to need to do that yet. It's a pretty big room as it is, but, you know, depends on how many uh, chests I want to have for sorting um, the, the enchanted books and all of that sort of thing. But I think it's starting to look really nice. I'll definitely put down some light carpet with some lighting in here. All these torches will be gone. There will not be a single torch in here. Um, I was trying to bring in some blue lanterns here. It wasn't really working for me. Um... It, the, the colors just didn't quite match very well right there for me so I, I, I took them back down and uh, but I do think some blue lanterns in this room could look pretty nice um, so I, I do want to you know I have them here I do want to try and incorporate them if I can but if it doesn't work it doesn't work you know we don't have to use everything in these rooms um, but yeah I think that's a good start I think it's a good starting place and I'm going to keep working on this room and I'll come back when I have a little bit more progress so uh, yeah let me go ahead and uh, Get a thumbnail. See you guys in a few. Okay, guys. So we are back, and we have made some progress here. So let's uh, let's take a look. I've done all all the outside walls except for the back main wall. I'm not sure quite what I want to do there yet, but it's just all kind of the same thing on repeat, just with a little bit of variance. So bookshelves with a little bit of ladders and cobwebs, and you know, just a little bit of decoration. I think it's turning out pretty well so far. I like the way it's looking so far. I accidentally <laughs> made like a face in this one. I, I don't know. I think I might leave it. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out looking pretty good. Yeah, I tried to go with some chests in this one. And <laughs> it just looks like a face with the little eyes and stuff. Like it's so funny. Uh, yeah, but I think it's starting out pretty good. Um, I like the way it's turning out, but I want a big, like, cool thing here, and I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. And then also I was debating if I want to drop the floor down a little bit, like one more in the middle, just to make it, like, you know, big flat floor here is kind of boring. But if I drop it in one level, and then that's where all the chests are, and then maybe raised up one level is where the enchanting is in the back to give it a lot of variance, I think that'd probably be a pretty good idea. So I think that's going to be the next step here. So uh, I'm going to continue working on this bad boy, and I'll see you in a few. All right, guys, I am back, and I've made a little bit more progress here. I've kind of put it in a little middle section where we're going to store all the books. I think this will be plenty of storage. I don't, you know foresee needing more than this much storage <clears throat> and if it ends up being way 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 too much i'll just change some more of these out for bookshelves but for now i think it's fine i think it looks good i think it looks you know very fitting the sunken floor also looks really good that means we'll be able to see the enchanting area back there and that i think we're going to pause on this project for now because i don't know exactly how i want my enchantment set up to look i still want to figure out exactly what i want to do there i might want to get a little bit of redstone involved but i have another idea for some redstone over here so i need to kind of figure out what i'm going to do there um, before i move on but i think this is a great start we also have the whole ceiling left to do i'm still kind of pondering how i want to do that i think i'll probably like I don't know. I need to look into how library ceilings in castles actually look. I need, you know, I want to make it semi-accurate uh, if I can. I want to, you know, do a little bit of research and see what I can find out there. Um, but I was thinking arch it up a little bit, but nothing too fancy. Maybe a chandelier or two. But, I mean, it's a library. So, you know, usually you don't have that kind of stuff, right? It's, you know, a dark, dingy room with a bunch of books. Anyways, I think we've made some very good progress on this room today. Um, and I, I, I'm excited to where this, uh, this build is going. I, I, I think, um, I think this is turning out very well so far. So, uh, thanks for hanging in there. I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. All right, party people, we are back and we've made some progress here. So I wanted to go ahead and show off a few things. So first of all, let's go back here into the library and I have finished off in here. Um, I did get a little bit of, uh, I did talk to uh, Reyes on the server and he helped me out a little bit and kind of, you know, t uh, confirmed kind of what I was thinking was a good path to go. So I do, so here's the uh, enchanting table. It is level 30 enchants. I don't have anything to put in there right now. And then I went ahead and made a nice little backdrop here, sunk the wall in a couple of layers, added some gold and a nice diamond blocked in there to make it look really nice. And I think everything turned out really well in this room here. So let's go ahead and go back upstairs and take another look at it. Yeah, I think it turned out really, really good in here. So once we do the hallway and all of that, we'll get that figured out. Um, <clears throat> But I think that's uh, one room. 
that we can mark off the list. Also, I put stuff under the carpets. This whole room is spawn proof. Um, there is nowhere in here that light is low enough for something to spawn on, so that's definitely a good thing as well. So, you know, this is a nice safe haven that we do have in our base, um, unless something happens to wander in here right now because we don't have doors, but <laughs> let's just not worry about that. Um, the other thing we were doing was working on the wheat tower. So I uh, realized making wheat farms is not necessarily the most interesting on-camera work, so I may have just gone and finished it other than decoration, um, which we'll get to decoration on the outside eventually um, as we do kind of the rest of this stuff. But we do have a fully functioning wheat farm in here. So basically what I've done is I have um, uh, eight across, and then seven deep. There's two reasons for that. One, water reasons. I wanted to make sure the water was gonna push exactly the way I wanted to. And two, because water penetrates four layers of soil. So you can make it eight wide with having water on either side. So I have water underneath um, on the floor here. One second. Oh, excuse me. Um, so I have water on either side underneath the floor and as you can see water buckets in each one and then a redstone line going on top of each one of them here. And there are seven layers exactly the same as the first. Um, the only difference is on the rest of the layers there's a sign here to stop the water from falling down and being, you know, causing problems. But yeah, so the last one is open to the sky and then that's about it. It's very, very simple. I turn on my torch and everything all goes off at once. There is nothing fancy about this at all. Um, I will Once this thing is fully grown, I will show you guys what the harvest looks like and kind of how much is produced. Oh, I heard that. Sounded like a zombie somewhere. Anyways, um, yeah, so once that fully grows up, I'll show you what a full harvest looks like. But, you know, I think that's going to kind of do it for today. Uh, we've made a lot of progress. We did the whole uh, library. We did the whole wheat farm tower uh, you know i i'm really happy with the progress that we've made and what we've been able to accomplish over in this new area in a very short amount of time um so yeah we'll continue building up and then i think i'm not sure what we want to do next i haven't decided yet um maybe the super smelter maybe the throne room i'm not sure um it'll have to be a surprise but my name is dandolph it's been fun and i'll see you on the next one have a good one. Take it easy, party people.